Wow. Yeah, another sit down video. And before I start this video, I know the title can be a bit misleading and I want to say that my dog is just fine. She's in perfect condition and she's completely healthy. She is not in any way dead whatsoever. However, this is gonna be like she kinda is at the same time. Throughout my life, there have been people that have been in my house, that have been there to take care of Nala, and have been there to just, you know, give her the attention that she needs, and give her what she really needs as a dog. However, those people are moved out of my house completely, and it is only me and my mother in the house now. I'm gonna be going off to college soon, so it's literally just gonna be my mom. And I'm just gonna cut to the chase, guys. Nala is being given to a family a much bigger family in a much better household and with a much better life. A part of me kind of feels sad about this and a part of me is kind of happy at the same time because I'm sad that she's leaving and I'm sad that she's going away but at the same token this is a life that I want her to have not the one that she already has now. I never wanted her to have a life where she was kept in a cage for 12 hours a day, let out, and then back in the cage. It's just that, you know, with circumstances that happened to my house, a lot of that had to happen. And I'm not saying she had a bad life here, but she didn't have the best one that she deserves. Like I said, a part of me is really sad about this, but I want her to, I really want her to have a life where she's not always kept in the house all the time. And I really hope that she finally realizes what a life she's being given. Nala is going to be out of my house completely and she's not going to be here anymore, you know, just for me to see her after school and, you know, just to be there. <laughs> and a lot of people say, you know, it's just a dog. Why are you, why are you so sad about it? And it's like, a lot of dog, a lot of people that aren't dog owners don't really understand the concept of having a pet. And what they don't realize is that you grow somewhat of an attachment to that to that pet. You grow something, it's like, I, I don't want to compare it to having a kid, but at the same time it kind of is. Because you have to feed the kid, you got to raise the kid, teach her the ways, and that's what I did with Nala. And, you know, I taught her so many tricks, and I took care of her, and I made sure she was alright all the time, and it, it's... It's a really difficult thing for me, guys. And it's not easy to give her away to someone that quickly, but this is our decision completely. And I say our as in me and my family's decision because I don't want her to keep having a life where she's kept in the house, stuck here, and continuously just being treated like, you know, a POW. Like, I want her to actually be enjoying the life of a dog, being let out more often, having kids to play with, living the life that she really does deserve and it it does strike it does struck me a bit kind of deeply that this is all happening at once because i've had several people in my life continuously leave and you know it's not easy having to deal with that especially when my life is literally just changing like continuously throughout the days and a lot of you guys may be sad about this, just like I am. And I understand if you're sad about this, because she was... And the reason why I'm making a video about this, you know, a lot of people are like, why are you, you know, using this for clickbait, or why are you using this for your views? Like, it's not that, guys. It's like, I filmed her the day that I got her, and I posted it on YouTube. So I figured, I, feel, I figured it would be appropriate if I did kind of make a video showing, you know, her status and how she's doing. As far as her health, she's going to be completely okay. I trust these people and I know they're going to have a new home in store for her. But nevertheless, it still does hurt having her go from being... Oh, God damn it. I really did not want to cry throughout this video. <laughs> I remember... You know, when we first got her, I was I was around a lot more to take care of her because I I didn't, I, didn't, I had online school and you know my job only had me working on weekends, so I was I was a lot I was more attentive compared to now, where I won't really be there for her as much. And it and it 
clearly it does hurt and I I do want what's best for her and I hope that this decision is the right decision to do because I don't I don't want her to keep living a life like this I really don't but at the same time it still does hurt you know I remember bringing her home and <laughs> having her um Um, I remember her bringing her home, and the first thing I did was show all my classes online, on Zoom, just showing her what a fucking baby she was. And, um, she was, she was really, she was really rambunctious just as a baby, so you guys can only imagine how she is now. I've had people left and right leave my life in the past three or four months and some of it has not really been my fault. <laughs> but nonetheless, it still does hurt having people walk out of your life. And you know, I used to have, this house literally used to be filled with people that I loved. And now it's like, Oh, fuck. Ah, damn it. I'm sorry, guys. I don't, I don't really cry um, on video unless I'm really sad. And I'm trying, I'm trying to like smile my way through this shit because this is like, it's like I'm, I literally remember two years ago, I was holding her in my arms like my literal fucking child. And now I'm watching her off go to college, so it's like <laughs> um, I'm trying. I'm trying to power my way through this, guys. This is this has really been difficult for me, but this is the best decision for her. And being her caretaker and just being the person that has taken care of her the past few months, or even just the past couple of years, I I want what's best for her, and I do want. I do want this decision for her because I know this is what she, I know this is what she deserves just as a dog and like I said a lot of people will probably think this is stupid the fact that I'm crying over a dog but then again they don't really understand. So yeah guys that's the info I wanted to share when it comes to Nala. I, I wanted to cut this video short because I don't want to make a huge sit down video. I know I've been doing a lot of those lately but I've literally just been grinding on my stuff and doing what I do best, you know, work in school, just trying to get my life on track before I graduate. And I really hope that this decision is the best decision. The people that she's going to, I do trust. They do seem like really good people and I want I want to give her the life that she deserves most. Hell, I remember like yesterday I was sitting on that couch over there doing my uh, February 14th video for her and I told you guys just to find someone to love and to find someone or find something that makes you happy and she always used to make me happy no matter what <laughs> no matter what it was, it was just one of those things that's like she couldn't talk but you can feel her energy and it's one of those things that a lot of non-dog owners wouldn't understand I've only really cried on video like two or three times, but even then those videos are taken down because they were like personal shit. But this one, I feel like I have to share with you guys because I shared, you know, the day I got her and I always thought about making a Nala vlog, you know, just making a video about her and now I can't really, now I can't really do that anymore. Um, a lot of people are saying, you know, it's, it, it's a lot, it's a lot better than death. You know, this, this is a lot, this is a lot better than, this is a lot better than death. And I agree. I agree. This is, this is a lot better than, you know, having her die of some disease or something. And I think that's what's keeping me more on the brighter side is the fact that she's kind of getting a happy ending in a way because it's, it's, it's what's best for her. The last thing I'd want is to recreate Marley and me, you know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this decision was 
This decision was thought about for months and months on end and we figured it was the best decision for her, so. Enjoy your, enjoy your new home, Nala. I'm sure the people there will love you and her rambunctious self was, she was a really good dog. She was stubborn most of the times, but she, she was, she was trained and she's, she's a really fun buddy to hang around with and be with. I'm not going to keep you for too long. I just wanted to reveal that to you guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, click that subscribe button and the notification bell and that like button and comment down below if you really love Nala. And who knows, maybe I'll go visit her one day, you know, when I'm coming home to college and I'll make a video about that too. Um, thank you guys for watching and Nala, I really hope you know that this is the best decision for you. Take care guys. Thank <laughs> you.